Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, today we're going to show you a very easy way to roast chicken. You can um, use chicken pieces, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use chicken thighs. Or you can do a whole chicken. Chicken that I'm going to be putting in this is partially frozen. And it's going to go in the oven at 450. And I'm hoping it'll be done in time for supper. Just don't ever use boneless chicken because you need the flavor and the fat and you don't want it dried out. So that's what we're gonna do. And I forgot to spray the pan. So we need to try to spray this pan. What I typically put in this is the, about the same thing that I do with a pot roast, which is a beef roast. I put potatoes in it. And these are just russet potatoes that I had on hand. I buy these and keep these on hand, just for anything we need them for. And you are, you usually want with these, the, you know, a good amount of these. So you put those on top. Now some people put all their vegetables on the bottom and put their meat on the top. You can do whatever you want to. There's the potatoes. Onion, you're gonna need onion for flavor. So I just cut them in really big chunks. You can cut them up smaller if you want to. It's just really up to you. And I use white onion, but you could probably use a yellow or a Vidalia, either one. Okay, next thing, carrots. These are just sliced regular, regular carrots. They're not baby carrots, they're not even peeled. You can peel them if you want to. You can even get the baby carrots if you want to. Doesn't matter. You can just do whatever. And then the next thing that we put in is some chopped celery. Now, I wouldn't advise leaving any of these out because this really gives it a lot of flavor. Okay, so that's your vegetables. Now, you need to give it generous amounts of salt. And not a ton and ton of pepper, but you want to have a good amount. You can also put thyme in it. And it needs to be the whole herb, not the ground thyme. But you could use it if you had to. But I prefer the, her the whole herb. And I like this better than the next one that I'm going to use. So I'm going to put just a little bit extra in here for that. And then the next thing would be rosemary. And, you know, like always, put a few bay leaves in there. And remember how many you put in there now. I think I put eight. All right, last thing, some chicken broth. Right now, this thing does not have any liquid. So putting it in right now would probably not be a good idea. You need a little bit of something. And I used bullion cubes and they weren't fully dissolved. That's okay because eventually it's all going to work. Okay, 450, 475. Let's mark, let's put our oven up a little bit higher. So let's put it on 475. We're going to cover this with foil. We're going to put it in the oven. When the potatoes are tender and the chicken is done, then it's finished. I'll see you in a minute. So it took probably just under two hours, even with the chicken frozen and the vegetables were not cooked beforehand or anything like that let's see we need to take out our bay leaves we had eight there's six seven okay so before you present it to your family maybe you need to pour some of the broth over everything you just you just put it all in there together here is chicken try to get all the vegetables but that's it really easy really quick Throw it in the pan, throw it in the oven, and you're done. 